Hello Facebook viewers. This is not Windows. This is not Mac. This is Linux. As sexy as this. This is a free operating system. It doesn't cost you a cent. It's a little harder to set up. It looks like elastic, doesn't it? Uh, it's like a cube. We've got four desktops on this. That's on desktop one. Let's open up something on desktop two. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold. So that's desktop two. I'm using the keyboard to move from desktop to desktop. The desktop. There's four desktops on this, but you have maybe a hundred if you like. It doesn't matter. So, on the fourth desktop, let's go to the fourth desktop. I don't know something else. I don't know. Nostradamus. Yeah, what a good idea. Let's, let's watch a movie. Okay. So we'll just turn him down. And just let that do its thing. Right. So, we've got four different things on four different desktops here on SUSE Linux. SUSE, by the way, comes from Germany. Here's our four desktops. Cool or what? But, uh, there's more. Because it's a cube, just like a Rubik's Cube, if you ignore the top and bottom, these desktops, it's like four sides of a cube, right? But I decided to make it cylindrical. And look what happens now. So, these are the apps, the applications, around the cylinder, which has four desktops on it. And it's all done by the wonderful people in Germany called OpenSuits. And of course it's free. The reason it's free is because it's contributed to by thousands and thousands of very talented women and men around the world. And uh, they do it for free and the whole system is for free. And do you know when the tsunami happened four years ago in Indonesia and around Asia? They didn't use Mac, they didn't use Microsoft to communicate, they used Linux. Maybe not SUSE Linux, there are plenty of different ones, but they used Linux to communicate in emergency services because Linux was there for them and Linux just simply works. How sexy is that? And there's our movie there. All our apps. So go back to Sydney Morning Herald. Should really, I should really get into Facebook now, shouldn't I? Because I haven't been on Facebook for a while. I've been working rather hard. Um, let's see now. So, uh, lovely, 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 lovely thing. It's very cool. Isn't it? I'm not going to pretend that this is easy to do because it's not easy to do. Well, it's not that hard. I'm not a, I'm not a programmer. I'm not a, a coder. But I managed to get it. Working? Cool, eh? Let's we'll go back to our movie. Of course, we'll make that full screen. Now, when we do the severe thing, it circles around. You see Facebook there on your right. I think it is. Everything's backwards on this. There's our film. See the center of the sphere has got those grindy things moving around. These guys knew what they were doing when they designed this. This is called OpenGL or Compiz Beryl. There's a number of different programs that allow you to do 3D open uh, 3D graphics. And I just thought, well, I just thought I'd share that with you. Now, I suppose I better get back to my Facebook and say hello to you all. Oops, I gotta edit this first though, don't I? Goodbye. All done. And with a look at that, 